Let's go right ahead and talk about the Knicks against the Pacers and this playoff series. And I'm just going to say right now, this has taken a turn for the absolute worst. Like, I... Oh, my... As a, as a New York fan, uh, like, I know I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan, but I will support every single New York team. Gotta represent that those are, like, the only teams that I can represent. And right now, the Knicks are the only team that I could represent without feeling any kind of shame. I know it's dis- I know it's disgraceful as a Nets fan, but I am a New York fan, and I will always root for any team that has New York in front of its name. And... But regardless, this series has taken a turn, and I did not expect this turn to happen whatsoever. First off, let's start with Game 3. So, in Game 3, the Knicks, they played in Indiana. The game was tied 1-0, the game was tied 106-106. At the very, very last minute of the game, (sighs) like, I, mm, mm, it just, it hurts me to even, like, it hurts me to even think of what happened. But Andrew Nemhard just decides, just thinks he's James Harden or something because he just took a double step back from almost half court and made that shot. Like, he made a double step back half court shot. That shot had no right going in. You could, you could see it all over social media. That shot, is, that shot was absolutely ridiculous. That shot had no right going in. And then... On the other end, Jalen Brunson tries to respond with a three of his own, and then he ends up flopping and airballing, and then that decides the game. So, okay, the Knicks are still up 2-1. They could go into the next series and steal the next game, similar to how they did with the um, similar to how they did with the 76ers. But nope. Instead, the Pacers decide to absolutely destroy the New York Knicks in Game Four. The final score was 121 to 89. Like, the Pacers, they outscored the Knicks in the first quarter, 34-14. to And then, in the third quarter, they outscored them 32-22. to And throughout the entirety of the game, it was never close. The Pacers team was moving so fast, the Pacers team was getting stops, the Knicks weren't able to do anything in front of that home crowd. It was embarrassing. It was absolutely embarrassing how this team was able to completely destroy this Knicks team. And all the role players for the the Pacers have stepped up in this game. Every single one of them. TJ McConnell, he ended the game with 15 and 10. Tyrese Halliburton, he ended the game with 26 and 5. Miles Turner ended the game with 13. Aaron Naismith ended the game 8 points and 12 rebounds. Pascal Siakam, he ended the game with 14 points. Isaiah Jackson, he ended the game with 10 points. Obi Toppin, he ended the game with 14 points. And the entire team shot 14 for 31 from three. And 56% from the field. This Knicks team was horrible and had no answer against this Pacers team. They, brightness, please, like the sun, relax. Ugh. The DiVincenzo, he shot three for 13 in game four. Miles McBride shot 6 for 17 from the floor. And Jalen Brunson also shot 6 for 17 from the floor. 0 for 5 from 3. Only 18 points. And Alec Burks was the only bright spot for this Knicks team. And other than that, I mean, he he had 20 points, but that's not going to be enough to stop this Pacers team. It's just, it was absolute, it was unbelievable what I was watching. I never in my life would I have thought that a playoff team or a playoff game would end in such a huge blowout like this, especially one where the Knicks are involved against the Pacers. Like, uh, it's just, I I can't wrap my head around it. Like, that's your response after the ridiculous step back that he hit in your face? That's the response that you're giving? Like... uh, of all the times that um people of, of of all the times that Knicks fans have existed, this arguably has to be the most. This arguably has to be like the feeling where they felt the most cursed, without a doubt. Because like, what what happened? Like they just they completely melted, and like the I should 
give credit to the Pacers because they played a lot better than what I expected them to. And their defense on the Knicks, granted, this might just have been the Knicks missing a lot of shots, but their defense has been a lot better in this series than it has been all series, like all season. And not only that, the pacing at which they've been moving, their offense, all of that is elite. I'm sure all of you have known that. I've said that previously several times. But this is a huge problem for this Knicks team. A very, very big problem. So, now... The series is tied 2-2. Jesus, all right, sun, relax. Um, you, those of you on the audio side, you don't know, but like the sun right now is glaring in my eye as I'm, as I'm doing this podcast. But regardless, <clears throat> the Knicks, they're tied in the series. It's 2-2 right now. And now they're expected to go into New York and play the Pacers and hopefully take a 3-2 lead. But... Given how the Pacers responded after this game, I have no idea like how the Knicks are going to respond. Now that they have the home court advantage, they have to absolutely utilize it to the best of their ability. I think this is a series that's going to come down to home court advantage. Because so far, both of the home teams have been able to win all of their games in very, in very good succession, this, that, and the other. And it's really, I think the series might come down to seven games. Because... I was not expecting this Knicks team to play this badly in the, in Game 4, and I wasn't expecting the Pacers to win Game 3 at all. If that shot, it was, it was that one step back, that one step back at the end of the game that completely changed the rest of the series. Just that one shot. I, my jaw completely dropped when that shot went in. I did... There was nothing to say. And then I got thrown into a fit of rage after I saw Jalen Brunson just try to take a shot in front of three people's faces and flail his body expecting a foul. And it reminded me of Joel Embiid. And you guys understand and you guys know how much I despise Joel Embiid flopping. Seeing Jalen Brunson flop and rely on the refs infuriated me. And that, you can't do that. You cannot, you can't simply rely on the refs in such an important game to give you a call, especially like when there was no call to even begin with. After that shot that Jalen Brunson took, he argued that he was fouled, but nobody touched him. Absolutely nobody touched him whatsoever. And like, you know, as a New York fan, I have extreme bias towards the Knicks and the Nets, obviously. So I will be the first one to tell you, nobody touched Jalen Brunson there. That was a flop. And it was, oh, it was so, so painful to watch. And it's really, really painful how the series ended up. It's just, I, I, I have no idea. I don't know. And now I'm even more uncertain of how this series is going to play out. I hope that the Knicks can win in seven games so we can have a Knicks versus Boston rematch yet again like um, from all those previous years but this is just uh, this is not it this is not an ideal way to go out but that's all i have for this second segment so now i will be going on to the third segment where i talk about the next playoff series so stay tuned to figure out exactly what playoff series i'll be talking about after this short break looking for your daily fix of sports talk without having to pay for it GSMC Sports Network is available on YouTube. Just search GSMC Sports Network. Get your fix of daily sports talk shows on YouTube absolutely free. NFL, college football, NBA, MLB, MMA, UFC, fantasy football, and so much more. GSMC Sports Network has shows running all day long with new sports shows starting every two hours. Just like on your favorite cable sports channel, except GSMC Sports Network is absolutely free. Just search GSMC Sports Network on YouTube to catch one of your new favorite shows, like the GSMC College Football Podcast, Chip Shot Football Podcast, Hoops and Heels Women's Sports Podcast, GSMC Basketball Podcast, and so many more. Check it out for yourself. GSMC Sports Network, now available on YouTube absolutely free. Search GSMC Sports Network on YouTube right now. 